So uh, one of the principles I've talked about throughout this hearing is the independence of the judiciary. And one of the things judges do, following the lead of the Chief Justice and what all the judges do, is not stay out of current events, stay out of commenting on current events because uh, it risks confuse, confusion about what our role is. We are judges who decide cases and controversy. We're not pundits, so we don't comment on current events. We stay out of political controversy. Judge, if you, with all due respect, I, I only have limited time. But it's, um, it's, are, you, are you saying that it's too difficult a question or it's a question you can't answer, which is whether you agree with the statement that there was blame on both sides? We can move on, but are you saying you cannot answer that simple, pretty simple question? I'm saying that the principle of the uh, independence of the judiciary means that I can't insert myself into politics in either of two ways, commenting on political events or, in my view, uh, commenting on things said by politicians, a governor, a senator, a congressperson, uh, a president. I'm not here to assess comments uh, made in the political arena because the risk is I'll be drawn into the political arena. And the this confirmation process has become a national disgrace. The Constitution gives the Senate an important role in the confirmation process, but you have replaced advice and consent with search and destroy. Since my nomination in July, there's been a frenzy on the left to come up with something, anything, to block my confirmation. The behavior of several of the Democratic members of this committee at my hearing a few weeks ago was an embarrassment. But at least it was just a good old fashioned attempt at borking. Those efforts didn't work. When I did at least okay enough at the hearings that it looked like I might actually get confirmed, a new tactic was needed. This whole two week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit, fueled with apparent pent up anger about President Trump and the 2016 election fear that has been unfairly stoked about my judicial record, revenge on behalf of the Clintons, and millions of dollars in money from outside left-wing opposition groups. Last time I was here, I told this committee that a federal judge must be independent, not swayed by public or political pressure. I said I was such a judge, and I am.